Yeah. Okay, and you, you haven't had anything to drink tonight? No, Yeah, you can be honest with me. I'm going to be I'm, honest. Okay. Around 9 o'clock. Uh, late, too late. What, what is this from? <laughs> this is, this it is. It would be from this because this is a brand new car. No, no, I know, I, I know that, but this is more than a, a, a side scraper. This would just be from him. People get stopped and sometimes arrested for DUI. But what happens when these people are weird and have to interact with cops? Hey, hey. <laughs> I want the little young boys. Ask me how I'm feeling. Let the little young boys oh, tell me. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here are different cases of when this happened, starting with case one. On May 11th, 2023, an alleged DUI crash involving Kelly Barton, a 48-year-old Ohio woman, unfolded. Barton, transporting a special needs patient, was arrested for impaired driving after failing sobriety tests. Surprisingly, Barton's behavior at the scene added an unusual twist. I don't know if she hit something in the middle or what, but Robert just keeps saying she hit a lamppost. Okay. And she said she had to avoid a hole. I don't know what this is. She shredded the back of that. She's she in the back popped, of my car. Well, she popped both tires, so oh, I'm afraid she hit something in the dash. So, yep. Uh, I guess it's going to be by the roundabout. Uh, that's what I think too. <laughs> well, you're saying she came Glendale Milford? Yeah, it'd be up. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's here's what she told me. The driver is in her car. Okay. So I came to an empty vehicle. All right. The owner of this facility or whatever it is, they they transport special. Car for car 32, squad dispatch 106. This driver, the new driver, drive she is for 93 year old female, semi conscious. She has two sheets of the water. 432. 4 north 32, Clark. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering, in the sense of. The charge had a car 7-0-32, 7-0-33, right. well, and a lot of 1705 Lincoln. Right. So you can play a reference verbal trouble with you know ex-boyfriend Sydney Bryan. We got to figure out what we're going to do with her. Do you know where she goes? Yeah, she's down at the, um, she's at the shelter on Redding Road. Your driver is uh, someone that stays at a shelter? Huh? Your driver is somebody who stays at a shelter? My co-worker, she's a co-worker. She, okay. But I'm the driver, that's my car. <laughs> She in no, the no, 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 I'm talking about this one. This one, yeah, she stays in, she stays shelter. in the shelter. She just okay. got the job. Yeah, she just got We're trying to in. figure out a way. If we got to get her home, we got to figure I'll out get her. a I'll safe take her. place to... Yeah, she's at the shelter. I know where it is. A responding officer can be heard on the phone describing the situation to his superior. So here's the situation. It's a unique one. Four boy 31, okay. This Seven car three. belongs to a special needs driver service. They drive special needs people around two of our places. The driver is heavily intoxicated she we're seeing we're going to go see what she hit in blue ash but the the gentleman that that was being driven said she hit a pole uh the car's on only one wheel when i got here the car is turned off and this driver is sitting in the passenger seat of a co-worker's car that came to pick up the special needs person so can we even go the old guy around? Nobody saw her driving. Lady picked her up, said my boss told me to come down here and, and come get her. She And when she came to find her, so the, the reason they found her is the lady that was driving that's drunk called her boss saying, hey, I need a tow truck because the car, I, I hit a pothole and I blew a tire. So this lady came to come pick them up and she's like, oh, she's drunk. Officers then approach Barton's co-worker's vehicle. The patient she was transporting, Robert, sits in the front seat as Barton is passed out in the back. It's Robert. He's Robert. a client, yeah. Oh, how are you doing, Robert? Got scared she turned out the that ass crash smasher. Okay, all right. Where is the driver back there? Right I'm going to open your back door to see now, okay? She flirted persistently with first responders, showering them with compliments. The crash occurred in Blue Ash, Ohio, where Barton, an employee at the Ohio Valley Residential Services Group home, was transporting the patient. Yeah, I'm not putting you in a car or anything. I just need you to step out of this one, okay? Where's my phone? It's in your it's purse. In your purse. It's in your purse. It's in your purse. Well, can I get my phone? Come on you out. You gotta come on out. 
Come on out. You gotta come on out, Kelly, okay? I've been super nice. I've been super reasonable with you, but I need you to come out, okay? I need you to get out of this car so that you can take this gentleman home. Okay. Okay? Okay, yeah. He's gotta go home. Okay. Just be careful. Just be careful. Y'all leave me alone. Put your shoes this. on, all right? I'm gonna have you to step over here with me. When officers tell Barton she will be checked out by EMS responders, she begins flirting, calling the workers handsome. Ma'am, listen, you need to listen to the officer, okay? Ma'am, do not do that. Don't call me. I didn't throw you anyway, ma'am. We're not. No, relax. 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 I want to talk to you. Okay, so let me go, okay, I need you to come over here. I just need you to step over here, okay? You got to work with yes, me, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're, these ambulance people are going to come talk to real fast, okay? Talk to who? To you. Make sure you're okay. Let me ask you this. You check her out here. I don't want to. You has. Let me ask you this, ma'am. Can I run a series of tests? Can I check your eyes and have you do a couple? Uh, yeah, and I'm going to pass everything okay, that she's trying to do. But look, okay. look at you, hands. Do you want yeah. the light squad to check you, ma'am? Let them do what they got to do. Come on, boys. How you feeling? Hey, hey. <laughs> I want the little young boys. Ask me how I'm feeling. Let the little young boys oh, tell me. Boy. He's young. Uh -huh. Dude, she doesn't want you, man. <laughs> Who don't want me? Toon doesn't want who won't want me? I want you. You're good. You're cool with me, okay? You ain't got to want me. Want let me tell you something. Uh -huh. What I would do to you with your blue eyes. So let me check your blood sugar okay. real quick. Hey, what is y'all doing to me out here tonight? Okay, ready? huh? Ready? Here we go. Ready? Right here. It's over. We're done. That's it. What's your date of birth? May 28th, 1974. Here come Jim and I. Look at you. You so damn handsome. Thank you. Landers. Landers. Yep, that's that's the last thing. Your a ain't ready for me tonight. Oh, man, I don't think so either. Oh, Mr. Put, can I put a Band-Aid on you? Uh, you yeah. ask why I'm bleeding. Yeah, I'm going to put a Band-Aid on you. Y'all done caused me to bleed. I didn't. He did. Look at you, Landers. Yeah. Hi, Landon. What's up? Uh -huh. This theme continues as officers ask Barton to participate in field sobriety tests. Look at him. I would do him in a way that he won't even. Hey, look. He can look tough all he won't, right? Mm -mm. Don't let me get it. Look at you. And you got eyelashes like my son. They're pretty nice, aren't they? They are. Barton then begins to take a series of tests. All right, so Kelly, here's what I'm going to ask you. Do you have any neck injuries, head injuries, back injuries? Do you wear glasses or contacts? Have you been to the hospital recently for anything? Despite being confronted by officers, Barton engaged in flirtatious banter, creating a peculiar atmosphere. Barton's interaction with law enforcement further escalated as she resisted arrest. Eventually, officers managed to place her in handcuffs and into the squad car. Throughout the ordeal, Barton continued to protest, showcasing her combative demeanor. Able to get Barton into the backseat of a squad car. What are y'all taking me in for? What did I do? Operating vehicle while under the influence of alcohol no, or drugs or other no, controlled no, substances. No, Stop right here. You, yes, have you have anything on you? Yep. Any cash in your pocket? Anything at all in your pockets? No, Nothing sir, at all. I don't. Okay. None of that one. Yep. Okay. There's something back here. What? So. What is? I don't know. Help me out. Oh, okay. I, I got it. I got it. It's the key to the Toyota. Nice. Yeah. Unlock my hand. That was the key. That was the key to the car? That was the key. Yes, right. sir. Very good. We're going to go to this side of the car here. All right, we're going to have a seat in my car. It's like five minutes top to the police department. We'll be back out of the car. And as long as you keep being nice, we're going to take those handcuffs right back off. But my policy says that I have to have you handcuffed. That's my boss right there. You don't want me to get in trouble, do you? I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I'm not sure I think. What you got me for, though? I, I think. Type is y'all on? Why no? Uh -uh. Oh, can I 
that seat. Come on. Kelly, please Kelly, get just the take seat. a seat. You gotta get the seat. Kelly, come on. Let's work with me. I told you, get these cuffs right back What is y'all doing, like? You gotta help me out, though. We'll get these cuffs this right back. This ain't right, like. I know, but you gotta work with us here, okay? And we'll get these cuffs right back off, but you gotta listen to us, all right? We've been super nice. So just work with us. Y'all ain't nice. Okay, just let's sit, go ahead and take a seat. Right, here we go. Just be careful, okay? Kelly, come Watch on. your head. Kelly, Kelly, come on. Come on, Kelly. You're gonna sit in the car, okay? Come on. Kelly, come on now. What the f Kelly. Man? Kelly, we're gonna help you out, but you gotta what work the with man? There's, there's plenty of room in the car. I'll put on whatever radio station you want me to. I don't wanna hear no music! Okay, then no music. Okay, we're, we're good. I'm gonna right, step forward. Go. Yep. Step forward. Kelly, you gotta get the car. You gotta sit down in the car. Hold on, man, hold on. Kelly. You have to get in the car. Okay. Alright, there we go. Because you're under arrest. What? For what? Come on, Kelly. Operating a vehicle while inside. That's what I okay. did. She's going straight down. Yeah. Alright. I'm going straight down. If you don't sit in the car, we need you to sit in this car. I'm there you go. I'm going Good. straight down. Just take that. a seat in the car. There Wait a minute, I'm going straight down. To the PD if you just sit in the car. Okay, so I'm about to sit down. Sit down. Go. Just, uh, your scoot, scoot your rear end up, okay? You gotta get your legs okay. in now. Perfect. There you go. You're almost there. I know it's a little bit higher up. You're good. Come on. Come on. I know. Work with me, Kelly, okay? You don't deserve this, You can work with me, I'm gonna work with you, but you gotta get Kelly, up in this car. Come on. Yes, sir. Please okay. get your legs in. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, Thank sir. you. Thank you. You're good. There you go. Thank you, Kelly. Very good. And we get the seatbelt on, okay? Yes, sir. Take this off of her. Or can y'all loosen them, please? As soon as we get back, I'm going to take them off. Please, y'all just loosen them. You ain't got to take them off. As officers explain Barton's charges, she yells out in disagreement. Kelly, I got to read a piece of paper to you, okay? Oh, why? Because I have to. All right? What kind of piece of paper? Well, it's, it's explaining why you are where you are. Despite the challenges, officers maintained professionalism, aiming to ensure Barton's safety and adherence to legal procedures. If you thought this woman was all over the cops, this means you haven't seen this girl. Where case two, on September 7th, 2023, Rowan University police officers noticed a vehicle driving on a campus sidewalk. Patrolman Leem conducted a traffic stop and found an open container of alcohol in the car. The 18-year-old driver underwent field sobriety tests and was arrested for DUI. At the station, she tested at 0.08% BAC. The video discusses her charges and case outcome. Yeah, I was Four, six, or five, 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 so what's that what's that pink bottle you got right there by your leg? Is that an alcohol bottle? Mine. That bottle right there on the floor. Not that one, the one behind her, she's trying to hide behind her leg. What is that? This is XX water. So this is this is wine. You can no, you can smell it. Right, so I'm not gonna do that. You turn your car off. So turn off the car for us, ma'am, okay? Alright. So my partner's gonna have you exit the vehicle over there, okay? Because we gotta run some tests to make sure you're okay to drive. Has anyone had any alcohol? Okay, how are you? What's your name? Oh, yeah. Man, you can car. stay. You can stay. I don't know where Robo was, but he told me to take him there. Nobody knows me. Okay. All right. Uh, let me face you away from the lights, okay? Bring you over here. All right. So, how much you had to drink tonight? You're I came from right my there. friend's right working soon. Should I drive? I yeah. wasn't going out tonight. Just put up Marcus from Silver Out. Okay. So, and he said Robo. I don't know where those apartments are because I live in Woodstock. And where were you guys at tonight? I picked them up, picked that kid up from Silver App. His name's they, Marcus. I and how about the That's female? That's my friend Demi. Okay. I picked her up from Fortune Stone Shore Drive and, so, and like Glassboro. I'm okay. from Woodstock. I okay. just moved there. Like, it's like 27 minutes away. Okay, and you, you haven't had anything to drink tonight? Yeah, you can be honest with me. I'm going to be honest. I'm, okay. Around 9 o'clock. Uh, late, twisted late. Okay. It's still up there. 14 so charge drive. Okay. You can test me, go ahead. Alright. I can blow. So, do you know the ABCs? Yes, I know the ABCs. Uh, I'm not going to make you say them backwards I, or anything like right. that, but I'm going to have you say them from the letter A to the letter O. Okay. From A to O, do not stop, do not sing, okay. just say it All right. from A to O. Stop at O, okay? okay? You can go. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I just asked you to stop it, though, but that's fine. Okay. All right. So, do you have any issues with your eyes? Any problems? 
You don't, do you wear glasses or contacts or anything like that? Okay. So this test is going to be real easy. You're just going to follow the pen with your eyes and your eyes only. You're going to keep your head completely still. So just feet together, hands by your side, just like you are right now. Stand in that position. Okay. And then head completely still. Okay. See the pen? Yes. You're going to follow it with just your eyes. All right. And what did you say you had to drink tonight? At nine o'clock. Twisted light. Twisted tea light. Twisted tea light. Okay. Can you see my pen? Yes, I can. All right, you're going to follow from side to side with just your eyes, all right? Ready? Make sure you're following it. During the stop, the driver appeared disoriented, struggling to recall her location. She admitted to having consumed alcohol, stating she had a mixed drink and a few sips of her friend's beverage, along with marijuana. She mentioned having last eaten around 1.50 a.m. All right, you can stop. So where we're at right now is I need you to do one more test, okay? I need you to face that officer, put your hands behind your back, okay? And do not move, you're under arrest. Ma'am, come here. You're under arrest, all right? So you're under arrest for DUI, okay? Okay. And hold up a second, just gotta pay you down real quick. All right, you're coming with me. You guys live far? No. In a couple of seconds here, you either can get a ride, they'll meet you up on 322, or you can just walk home, it's up to you guys. All right? I'm going to ask for a ride. What's up? I'm going to ask for a ride. Okay. I'll walk back. All right. Just uh, let me ask my off okay. my uh, other officer out okay. here, since it's his motor vehicle okay. stop. Yep. And okay. I'll, I'll let you know what he wants. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're going to go in the back, okay? You're not right. going up front. Okay. Just had to open the door for you. Hop in there for me, all right? Can you make sure to get my phone and stuff on Yeah, we're going to get everything out of the car for you. I got your license and I got your uh, lean back for Is me, okay? Yeah, we'll get everything for you. Lean back for me. Sorry. I don't want to bit, bit. All right, there you go. And you said there was your wallet in the car, too? Wallet's on my keys, yeah. Wallet's on your keys, okay. Hang tight in the car. Got your cell phone, got your wallet, and your ID. Your friends, I think, are walking, but like I said, I'll be able to give you more information when we get in there. Right. Lean back for me, sweetie. I should only be wearing on my cell Step out for me and face my vehicle, all right? All right. Don't move. Stay right there. All right. Nope, we're going this way. Nope. All right, face that window for me and don't move, okay? Stay right there. Alrighty, so I'm going to take you out of them cuffs, okay? When I do so, you're going to put your left hand on top of your head, alright? Do you understand? Yes. Alrighty. Do that now. Leave it up there until I tell you otherwise. I'm going to do the same for your right, alright? Same thing. You're going to leave it up there until I tell you otherwise. Right hand on head. Yep, right hand on head. Oh, hold on, lock back up. The officers handled the situation professionally, ensuring the driver's safety and explaining procedures. They obtained necessary information, such as her belongings and contact for a sober ride. Despite the seriousness of the situation, they maintained a respectful tone, aiming for cooperation, but she kept on flirting and being all over the cops. I guess some of your friends have been charged before with DUI? Not like friends, but... People you know? I know. Okay. Okay. But yeah, definitely not a crowd thing. Sure. It happens. We'll just get through it and you'll be on your way, okay? Just be happy we got you and you didn't hit anybody, okay? Yeah. Really? 
really gonna have these this four dollars in cash on you? Yes. All right, four dollars. I gotta document all your You're problems. fine. You got three debit card. I know. Two debit cards, one credit card. You just reminded me. Someone owes me twenty dollars, and I had to give him four dollars in change. Somebody owes you twenty bucks. Yes. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> I feel like I was paid for everything. I do. Right now it is 2.53 in the morning. Alright. Alright, so Patrolman Conway is going to take good care of you, okay? Alright. Just to finish up some processing. I'll get to that number in the second part. Yep. Alright, Gianna. Sorry for keeping you waiting real quick. Here's your driver's license back. So, um, what I can tell you is your friend in there has been charged with 450, which is driving under the influence of alcohol. Uh, by you signing this form. After completing paperwork and breath tests, the driver was released to await court proceedings, avoiding any serious consequences due to the absence of accidents. The officer's thoroughness and empathy ensured a smooth resolution to a potentially hazardous situation. Now hold on to witness the weirdest arrest here. Case 3. On January 9, 2023, a 21-year-old driver of the Cadillac was involved in a hit-and-run accident. She initially claimed she was rushing to work to get paperwork, but later admitted to having consumed alcohol in the morning before work and was driving home to change clothes because she had urinated in her pants. I'm sorry. Okay, so you were in a rush to get to work then? No, I was at work, but then I realized I forgot the inventory count. They're right at my house. They're printed and everything. Okay. And I was just going to grab them. Okay. I'm so sorry. Do you have your ID on you? That's yeah, okay. I do, no problem. Yep. Where where was this at exactly? I was on Edgerton and Bridge. Edgerton and Ridge. Yeah. And she pulled next to me, and there was cars coming. Okay. It was totally my fault. Okay, that's I, okay. I it happens. For every and and then she, she like totally took me out. I did. I'm so sorry. That's okay. It happens. Where do you think you hit somebody else at? Or same? Around Edgerton, around that no, stoplight. It was all the same that one. Was him that was him in Edgerton. Then... You hit someone over here at Mattingly. Okay. That's, that's what the what front I was end damage. Trying was. To say. Oh, you hit another person at Mattingly. Yeah, she, yes. She, she hit the guardrail on that side, and she, I could see where she bounced over. I'm sorry, okay. I was texting while that's a, driving. That's I'm okay. No, you, were, you were doing about 100 miles an hour down Grand Road. How fast were you going? I'm not sure. I'm 5, so 14 sorry. Because you were going under traffic like it was standing still. It's Hi, totally my fault. It looks like there was the accident when it happened at Ridge and Edgerton and North Royalton. There may be another one at Ridge and Mattingly also with the same driver. Um, okay. So calm down. You're you're okay. So you live in you live in Brunswick. I do. Okay. And I was on my way home because I had to grab the papers and I was just rushing. Where you work at? Where at? Like, what North Royalton. Okay, it's in North Royalton. So you were going back around? Yeah, because I was freaking out. It was totally my fault. And why, I was, why are you so worried about just getting a couple papers? Just because of my inventory. Because my manager's. Made. Okay. It's stupid. I'm That's sorry. okay. It's it's not a big deal. This stuff happens all the time. So just relax, okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Your 15 returns on Joanna. 21 years of age out of Brunswick. Negative. Travel to well. That's clear. Okay. You went back down Edgerton. You hit this guy at Edgerton, right? Just yeah. trying to, he was stopped and you were trying to get around him, it looks like, probably. Okay. And then I think I might have side scraped another guy. And this was the John closest Union place, Paul, like, 36, I felt like I John could Union stop Paul, 36, without getting in trouble, so I stopped here. South, uh, okay, where do you think you hit somebody else? I think By him, or the, just right down the road at the other intersection? Right past the Edgerton area. I think it was on the way here. Well, what what is this from? <laughs> This is this is. It would is... be from this because this is a brand new car. No, no, I know, I I know that, but this is more than a a, a side scraper. This would just be from him. This was from him. Yeah, it had to be over the other guy. Did you hit the other person in the back, maybe? It was in the back because I was behind both of them. Five twenty with that. Okay. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Up 41 at 633, 633 Ridge with the second half of the code too. Okay. 
Okay. So there, so there was another one. Okay. Are you, have you drank anything today or are you on any kind of medication normally? Or? She failed a series of field sobriety tests and her breathalyzer test showed a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0.128%, which is above the legal limit for driving. Additionally, it was revealed that she had a previous DUI arrest about a year prior. Super tight, but just normal. And then just keep, keep your hands down at your sides, okay? I know it's... Are you in the sun? Why don't you step over this way? So Thank you're not, you. I don't want, I, I know, I, I don't want you to get blinded, okay? There we go. And you're just gonna follow, I'm gonna hold my pen up like this, and you're just gonna look right here, and I'm gonna move it, and I want you to follow it with just your eyes. Okay. Don't turn your head, anything like that, okay? Just, just your eyes. Okay. Okay? Just your eyes. That's okay. Okay. Oh. All right. Last one for the eyes. All right. Ready? Okay. You can blink for a second. That's okay. Okay. Got him. All right. Same thing. Just follow again. Just move your eyes. Okay. I think we're good. The other one's going to be coming. Astral's going to be clearing as soon as he gets his... Down. Yeah, yeah, so we should be okay. All right, we need a little bit of space here. I'm going to back my cruiser up just a couple feet. Okay, hang on here for one second. I'll go over there, I guess, but... We're gonna go in front of your car. It's a little, little bit more room, okay? Follow me over here. Are you feeling okay too? You're feeling normal today? Yes, freezing. Okay. Well, we're almost done. All right. No, no, you're okay. I don't mind. I, I already had it a long time ago, so, so I'm okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend there's a line on the ground, okay? A straight line. Anywhere. It doesn't have to be just a straight line, okay? So what I want you to do right now, put your left foot out, okay? Just like I am. Go ahead and you can do it right now. Put your left foot out. Put your right foot behind it. Okay? And just keep your arms down at your sides like this, okay? But okay. stand like I am. Okay, stay like that while I'm giving you the instructions, okay? And then I'm going to have you do some stuff, all right? You understand? Okay, Sorry. you're good. When I tell you to, I'm gonna have you take nine heel to toe steps, okay, down this straight imaginary line, okay? okay. On your ninth step, you're gonna keep your left foot on the line, okay. and you're gonna make a series of small steps to turn yourself around, and you're gonna take nine more. The officers decided to arrest her for operating a vehicle under the influence, OVI. They also discussed the traffic tickets she received from the North Royalton Police Department for the accidents. The video ends with the officer explaining the next steps, including taking her to the Ohio State Trooper's post for further testing and paperwork, and arranging for someone to pick her up. Any kind of driving drunk or anything like that, you have a couple traffic tickets from them, okay? Um, I, we are going down to the, um, Ohio State Troopers post, and I have to read a piece of paper to you and explain some stuff, and then you are going to be given an opportunity to blow into a machine. Okay. Um, after that, if everything goes well, which I'm sure it will, I'm going to take you back to our police station, which we just passed. It's all real close to each other. Um, we are going to fill out some paperwork, and do you have anybody that can come pick you up? I do. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk with them, and um, we will have them come pick you up. You, you had an OVI last year, didn't you? Almost a year ago exactly, right? Yes. It was on the 22nd of January? Yeah. Is all that stuff taken care of? Yeah, it was because I was a minor. Okay.
That's okay. Stuff stuff happens. So, I mean, did they do all the same stuff last time, or? Yeah, I, I, I had two beers the last time, and then they breathalyzed me, and said so I was a minor, and Right, right. Um, and now I just don't know what to do this time because I don't, I haven't seriously had a shot since at least 9 a.m. Okay. And like, I don't know what would be the spreader option. Well, again, I can't, I can only explain it to you. I can't tell you one way or another. Yeah. All right, Joanna, you can step out for me. Just be careful. If you need help, I can help you. You got it? Yeah, it should be good. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go right over here and wait for them to open up this door. <laughs> we're just going to hang out here for a second. There we go. Alright, careful with your head. There you go. Alright, we are going to go right in through here and we are going to have a little seat. Watch your step right here, okay? Careful, got it? Yeah. Awesome. Right in there on the right. I'm gonna close the door with it. Yep, perfect. And you're gonna sit on the bench. Nope, 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 right oh, over there. So That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Got it? How are your hands? Do you mean on the cup you for a second or are you okay like that? Either way. Either, you're, they're not hurting you or anything? No, they're chill. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yep, no problem. <sighs> Time of stop. Did you get my hair again? Yeah, one second. Thank you. You got one last January? <clears throat> yes, sir. It was from her behavior that the driver was indeed under the influence of alcohol while driving, which led to the accidents and her subsequent arrest. How expensive was that or how do you pay yet? It was pretty expensive, let me tell you, in the thousands. Did you learn, three learn your lesson? I did, sir. Apparently not. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from work, actually. You drink at work? It was my first day back, and then around 8 or 9 this morning, I had a few shots because I thought it would make me feel better. They did it. So now we know. It seems so stupid, I know, but... You think you have a problem? I think I do. 